the boy name that, that I really like, I never had a son, but Maximus. I always Maximus. thought that a powerful, strong yeah. Maximus, the name of Max. Yeah, I like Max. I know, a buddy of mine had a son named Max, but I'm like, and it's a great name. Yeah. Matt, I think they just, uh, they aspire to live yeah. up to, there's a powerfulness to that. And I like Hank. Yeah. Yeah, we have to think about what their nickname will be if they, be, you know, right. if you give them an A. So Max, Max is a good one. Hank yep. is a good one. Lynn, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> All new on the KTLA 5 Morning News at 5 a.m. The very latest in the arrest of a suspect in the murder of rapper Nipsey Hussle. Also, a woman sneaks past the Secret Service and gets into President Trump's Mar-a-Lago com compound while he was staying there. The latest on who she is. And a Southern California hospital accused of secretly recording hundreds of women giving birth the details of a new lawsuit. Plus the latest measure of the Sierra snowpack, what it means for our state's water supply. Once you discover the International Gem and Jewelry Show, you won't want to buy jewelry anywhere else. Buy loose gems, designer watches, dazzling beads, accessories, and more. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Happening right now, a quick arrest in the shooting death of Nipsey Hussle, where police found the rapper's alleged killer. Good morning, I'm Erin Myers in Chino, where a statue at a church has been vandalized, and it's not the first time something like this has happened in the area. I'll have the details coming up. Well, I'll update you about a crash that we talked about earlier. If you have plans to be on the 405 freeway through the Sepulveda Pass, we check the rest of your commute, as well with our head talking about some spots where there's some light rain. And a jellyfish invasion at a local beach. Find out what's brought thousands of them right there to our coast. KTLA 5, Morning News, but it's right now. You know, not a lot of things intimidate me, but jellyfish kind of do, though. They ruin a good day at the uh, beach. Yeah, Ooh. you know. Well, at least they can. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we have some rain out there. Good morning, by the way. And you know, we know you have choices in the morning. We thank you for being with us. And uh, we, we love our viewers, so thank you so much. Here's what we have going on. Our Max Doppler is showing some light showers. And if you're just waking up and joining us, you may be surprised going, hey, showers. You know, we had a shot of some showers in that overnight Thursday into Friday forecast. But these are some uh, stray showers that have moved on shore. And even though most areas today will get through the day with just some clouds and dry conditions, there have been some areas in through North Orange County, also around Commerce, uh, up along the 5 freeway heading uh, southward, we, we have seen some light showers this morning. And by light, uh, maybe not much for accumulation, but strong enough, Ginger, to get some of those windshield wipers going this morning. Right now, most, most of that seems to be moving into the Inland Empire. So if you do get some reports of some light rain in Chino, Norco, uh, Eastvale, uh, you know that we, uh, we're going to see this over the next hour. I'll send it over to you. Yeah, and you know, I guess I shouldn't come as a surprise to some people traveling in some of those spots you're talking about. You'll notice that there's a very thick cloud cover and thick, deep marine layer as well. So yes, that may be a factor for some people. But we want to talk about your drive this morning. If you have plans to be on the 405.